24 people have been killed in what is being termed as the heaviest flooding in Ecuador in two decades. 20, pe 20 people have gone missing and 47 people have been injured. Video footage shows water carrying stones, mud and debris down the streets in the Ecuadorian capital. Homes have been inundated. Athletes and spectators on a sporting field were swept away. Quito received heavy rain for 17 straight hours. This led to damaged roads, agricultural areas, clinics, schools, a police station and an electric power substation. Yo estaba yendo a entrar al túnel y cuando en eso salió una avalancha solamente veía algo café que era piedras, lodo y palos. Yo lo que traté es de treparme a la vereda para poder salvarme un poco y que no me lleve de lleno la avalancha. Me trepé a la vereda y al muro. Cuando en eso pasó un poco de la avalancha, pero el resto ya me vino dando vuelta. Me hizo pegar contra el muro de esta casa, rompimos el muro de esta casa. De la fuerza del agua, lo que hizo me rebotó para este lado, pero por suerte, gracias a Dios, la mano de Dios me cuida. Hubo estos dos postes que no me permitieron que me siga arrastrando porque si no hubiese sido peor. Quito Mayor has said that the heavy rain has overwhelmed a hillside water catchment structure. It had a capacity of 4,500 cubic meters, but was inundated with more than four times that volume. Rescuers say many people in Quito have been treated for hypothermia. Heavy machinery has been mobilized to clear roads and fix the failed catchment system. Power was lost in some parts of the electrical poles or brought down. Dozens of soldiers assisted in search and rescue operations. The flooding began on the slopes of the Pichincha volcano, which overlooks the nation's capital. Heavy rain has hit 22 Ecuador's or 22 of Ecuador's 24 provinces since October. Scientists say that climate change is intensifying the risk of heavy rain around the world. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.